hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel this is the first video that you're coming across with me so for this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the snake braids and uh if you see me standing in the front that's just me like you know parting imagining the braids and you know getting her baby hairs together and so at the beginning of the video i just put some moisturizer on her hair that's just some shea butter that i made infused with a bunch of different oils just put any type of moisturizer and your clients here something light nothing too heavy so that way we don't get too much product build up but yeah keep their hair moisturized all right you guys so uh i did a total of four braids i got two braids left and i'm just showing you guys how i part them off so with each part i'm putting a product down each part and going back over the part after the product okay you guys so please go back over the part after you part i mean after you put some product on it that's going to make it extra crisp and sleek and make it look neat and so then um just doing these sections before you start braiding just helps you like going along it's, it i don't know it just saves me time while i'm braiding so that's why I do it. But look at all those clips. I'm going to end up eventually clipping off each side. I'm such a perfectionist. I'm just watching myself just keep reparting, reparting. Like, you got it, Brittany. It's okay. Okay, yeah. So I'm just speed this process up. So, yeah, you part, put your product down apart, and then go back over the part. And then clip it away, and then you all set. Okay, before I let y'all continue watching this sped up process, I do put a little bit of product on each section that I'm working on. Like, just so when I'm braiding, the braid can look sleek as well. So don't just put product only on the part. I put product on the hair in the section too, and I comb it up. Like, I comb the product through a little bit, like rake it through a little, and then I clip away. And then you see I have all of these clips and low key this is the last time I seen all my clips like this like what the heck now I only freaking use the red clips and I have like one black clip and two silver clips but that's besides the point okay make sure y'all got her baby hairs or your client's baby hair out of the way and then put product on the first section and then um I really only stood behind her this whole entire time. I didn't have to like keep moving around like you would think. Um, I'm guessing because the snake braids wasn't all the way across her head, her head, but you know. So yeah, just braid along the pattern and take each clip off in each section you go. And then I'm really upset because I really wish that I did the stitch look on these, but I didn't. And y'all, I didn't even tell y'all, this is my first time doing this hairstyle. This is my first time doing this hairstyle, and I think it was a success. Okay, y'all, as for the corners and the curves on the snake braids, make sure y'all actually going into that curve and don't, like, you know, just continue braiding on through like don't slot <laughs> i can explain but like don't drag the braid through you want to actually make sure you grabbing the hairs of that corner so your corners can lay flat okay so you, what i'm doing here is like uh, you'll see me grabbing like my pinky nail is actually like grabbing like a little piece of hair from off that corner just to make sure i'm actually precisely like getting every little hair like you see if you pay attention to once i get to the corners you see what i'm doing and what i'm talking about so that's what i do to get my corner still lay flat but you can also do another technique which i've seen somebody doing on instagram which is you could put like what you could tell your client to hold down each curve that you're on so that way that will help it lay flat while you're braiding but that it, that does require you to ask your client for some help you know but um yeah i just do this method that I'm doing here and it works for me so okay you guys just a quick tip for the baby hairs I actually stand in front of my client and like pull out the baby hairs with my comb before I start braiding just so we can get an idea of how much hair we're supposed to leave out so we don't leave out too much before we start braiding and then um, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this braid, on the side braid, I try to make it mimic the other side because these two, these two braids on the side will be smaller than the two braids in the middle. 
So, um, yeah, I just have them mimicking, mirroring each other, basically. And then I'm just going to do the same technique. I'm going to part and then um, put my product down apart, repart over that product, and then clip off and then braid. All right, y'all, so this is the final step, me doing the baby hairs, and I really can't remember where I got these flat irons from, but I really think my sister went and got them for me. But I will try to find them and put a, put a link down below to some in the description box. And for the edges, I'm using that shea butter that's on my hand, on her edges. So when I do my um, baby hairs with heat, I always ask my clients first, with heat or without heat for their baby hairs, you know, give them that option. Don't just put heat on nobody's hair. And then um, when I do use the heat, I use my shea butter or any type of oil that's going to make them last longer. Or actually, you can use some got to be spray and spray your edge brush and then go over your edges with that. And that will make them last longer. But I just use the shea butter, something light. And this will give my edges, well, my client's edges, some sleek baby hairs, sleek, silky baby hairs. Yeah, I always say like with, when you do heat, use like some type of oil to do your baby hairs. No gel, nothing like, you know, no edge control. Only because it's like wet and it's going to make your edges curl up right after you just put heat on it. So you want to make, you don't want to put heat on it just because, you know. Do something like oil-based. 
okay but that's it y'all that's it for this video um make sure you guys give me a like and subscribe to my channel especially if you're all the way right here and you listen to me say this you might as well just go subscribe like just go subscribe for me and leave me a comment and i'll respond and i will see you guys in the next video let me know if there's any other styles y'all want me to do on this channel and i will do them either on myself or on a client okay thanks for watching this video i'll see y'all later bye